Satoshi Furukawa is no stranger to the International Space Station. At 59 years old, he's making his second trip to the orbiting outpost, this time as a mission specialist for Crew-7. Growing up in Japan, Furukawa was a baseball player in his high school days. He graduated from medical school in 1989 and became a surgeon of digestive organs. Less than a decade later, though, he made a career pivot to pursue becoming an astronaut and began his training in 1999. Like his fellow Crew 7 colleague, ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen, Furukawa also participated in one of NASA's underwater lab missions near Florida called NASA Extreme Environment Missions Operations, or NEMO. He and three NASA astronauts underwent scuba dive training before starting their 10 day NASA mission in August of 2007. During their underwater excursion, they looked at different methods of exploring the moon's surface. They even got to watch Space Shuttle Endeavour launch on the STS-118 mission while they were under the sea. His first trip to space came less than four years later. Furukawa trained in Russia alongside his crewmates, cosmonaut Sergei Volkov and NASA astronaut Michael Fossum. They launched to the space station aboard Soyuz TMA-02M to become part of Expedition 28-29. He went on to spend 167 days aboard the ISS. From that experience, Furukawa was able to offer some simple but important advice to first-time flyers on the Crew-7 mission, Jasmine Mokbeli and Konstantin Borosov. Do not move your head abruptly, uh, especially right after launch, because it leads to kind of space motion sickness. While on station last time, he had a number of opportunities for science and education, a particularly fond memory building a model space station in partnership with LEGO. I use a kind of closed volume system to uh, keep the, the pieces together. Building LEGO, Lego in, uh, under zero gravity is very special because you need to use special techniques to um, keep it. Um, I mean, that you cannot put M on the on a table. You need to have kind of special Velcro or uh, rubber band to keep them. Despite the life-changing views that astronauts experience from space, Furukawa says there was one striking thing that he couldn't see. We can see vivid color blue uh, earth or brown color desert, but not much of green color uh, from there. And I really miss the forest color, so, so I, I try to see, uh, watch the uh, video of uh, forest. And uh, it was a weird uh, feeling. Uh, it, and I, I really miss green color much more than I expected. Since his return to Earth, he also trained alongside future Artemis II astronaut Jeremy Hansen in ESA's so-called CAVES mission back in 2013. Now he's looking toward his next long duration mission to space and he said there's one thing in particular that he ran out of time for last time he went, back in 2011. I did not have chance to take my photo looking out from a cupola window and, uh, and taking that photo from, uh, for example, Russian segment. And I did not have chance to uh, take that photo. So uh, this time I'd like my uh, friends and colleagues to take that photo for me and I'd like to take photos for them too. For Space Flight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.